I want to talk a little bit about no nah, man that's sick but um I want to talk a little bit about the other side of things kind of when you don't meet an artist who might not be as nice I mean there's different <laughs> there's different personalities and we're not going to call anybody out we're not going <laughs> to we're not going to take shots at anybody no, 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 no. but um I mean if you want can you describe an experience you know that that was like that and like what he taught you i mean we don't have to name names but yeah, I, you no, know i won't um i i you know one of one of the things that i, I like to do is, is not talk negatively about people because yeah. i think that reflects more on me and who i yeah. am than it does on them you yeah. know if, if they do something stupid the world's gonna see it you know like yeah i don't need to be no like, for sure but but so there's definitely been some people that um are divas to put it lightly mm-hmm. or people who are just utmost some of the one person in particular um you know, I won't even, no names, no genders, but this person in particular um, it is, is by far the most disrespectful human being on the face of this earth. And and the things that they said to me and to my staff and to my crew, both on stage and off stage, were just incredible. Like, like you know, I, I've seen a lot and I've been a lot of places. I've done a lot of stuff. People don't really surprise me. But this was just like, the, there's two experiences and one was far worse than the other. Mm-hmm. And, and this person just, I mean, <laughs> dude, like, I, I mean, I, I, you know, it's very rare, but I, I told, I told my bosses, I was like, I, I won't ever work with them again. I won't expect my crew to work with them again. We won't show up. And, and I don't, I don't ever do that to businesses. Like, I, I never leave people hanging. You know, I'm, I'm really responsible with my commitments and like, yeah. and, but there's, there's a time when you have to put your foot down when somebody's, you know, like that disrespectful to you to where like i wish i could just i wish i could tell you you know the things they said to me like i mean it's tough they they were being very blatantly um i don't know just yeah just just disrespectful yeah i I don't know yeah it's tough it's tough to talk about only because again i I don't want to be specific yeah i think i mean obviously there's like the situations where you talk about it and like you're like i said it, it reflects bad on you yeah. but you know i think it's also important to talk about it but in a more like feedback way in terms of like reflecting on it right mm-hmm. um so looking back now i reflected on that experience what's like the biggest takeaway that you kind of get from those experiences i mean it's i mean the biggest takeaway is that they just happen sometimes yeah you know i mean again it, it shocked me in the moment like from to give you some idea, we had to get the police involved and the police oh, had to basically sure. escort this particular artist out of the building because they were being so hostile and, and they broke my equipment and weren't being responsible for that. Like I had, I was trying, I was basically telling them like, look, according to my company policy, I'm going to withhold your pay and to, and until we, you know, work this out with your management team, um, because this is just absolutely insane. So, um, and, and so, you know, like that, that, I mean, that was only part of the severity mm-hmm. of, of what happened to give you an idea, like the, like Anyways, it was but, crazy. But, yeah. you know, the, the takeaway from that is that you just have to be, you just have to maintain your calm, keep your cool. You know what I mean? Like, again, mm. n- nothing's personal. Don't, don't get your feelings involved. I mean, even, even though the things that this person said to me was, was very, very personal, like attacks, mm. you know, like stuff that like, obviously like is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I'm not sitting here like uh, crying about it and yeah. did I cry at the time or anything, but like you know, with, with the way that they were attacking me and then my staff members and stuff like that. It's just like, you just have to keep your calm, you know, let, let that person know in the moment, like, look, we're here to work together. I'm I'm not working against you. Mm -hmm. You need to, you know, I, you know, I don't want to tell you what to do as a person because I'm not your mom. Um, and I'm not you, but you know, try to just lay that out. Like, Hey, look, we're here to work together. Nobody's your enemy. You know, I'm sorry. Things aren't going your way. That's just sometimes how it is. And you have to understand that things happen Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and, and so just basically just keep your calm and understand nothing's personal and, and just move on. I mean, the the cool, the the cool part about, you know, that line of work in particular, when you're not working for one artist, you're working at a club where there's many artists Uh is they're here today and they're gone tomorrow, you know? So just get that, get that thought through your head and that, that carries you through. Whoa!